Choosing the right cold email tool is one of the most important decisions you need to make when launching a cold email campaign. And if you want to book in hundreds of sales calls on autopilot, choosing the right tool is a must. That's why by the end of this video, you'll know which is the best cold email tool for your current situation. And for some more context on who I am, my name is Tyler Nanetti and I run a B2B lead generation company by the name of Borks.io. And my team and I currently send over 1 million cold emails per month and have booked over 6,000 sales appointments for us and our clients in the past 12 months. So we know a thing or two about cold email. But with that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay, so these are the four main categories we're gonna go over when comparing Smart Lead versus Instantly versus our private sequencer. So the four main categories are pricing, UI slash UX design, deliverability, and support. So let's get right into pricing, right? So as far as pricing, this is Smart Leads pricing structure. You can see for the basic plan, uh, you get 2,000 active leads with $39 per month. Um, and for the pro plan, which is the most recommended one, which is the one um, I would suggest you start out if you're, or start out on if you're starting cold email. Um, this is $94 a month for 30,000 active leads to be imported to you know your campaigns. And they pretty much, they also have a custom plan uh, where you can kind of, you know, import as many leads as you want, um, but for a certain price, which I'll cover in a little bit on, on what I mean by that. As far as instant lease pricing, um, it's $37 per month for the growth you know, plan, which is a thousand leads, obviously not a lot, but then the hyper growth plan is $97 per month, uh, but you get 25,000 contacts. So as you can see immediately, um, you get 5,000 less contacts for three more dollars. Uh, meanwhile, this one is three less dollars, but you get 5,000 more contacts and a lot more included um, in, in this package for smart lead. So automatically you can see that you're getting better value per price on the smart lead plan. Now with instantly, you'll notice that um, the, th the uh, light speed plan, it's $358 per month, right? And with that plan, you get 500,000 emails monthly, 100,000 uploaded contacts. That is the most amount you're going to have uh, to be imported. So 100, 100,000 uh, uploaded contacts. With Smart Lead, there's no cap, right? You can have 10 million emails per month, uh, but you have to pay a set price. So that's obviously a big benefit. Hey guys, so we'll just get right back into the video in just one minute. So if you're looking for a cold email lead generation system that's gonna consistently book you calls to your calendar, then you've come to the right place. We've helped our clients, Morty, from your business anytime to close over 30 plus deals in just two months using our system. And we've also helped Avi from Daily Dose of Data Science to book over 40 plus calls in just 10 days for his offer. And one of those calls resulting in a $10,000 per month retainer. So again, if you're looking for a predictable source of leads and clients being signed by your company through cold email, then click on the link below and I'll see you guys there. With that being said, let's get back into the video. Um, and now with the private sequencer, this is what I'm going to mention, you know, a little bit more in this video and what it is. Uh, but the pricing for a private sequencer does depend on what you are using it for. Uh, and for some more context on what a private sequencer is, it's essentially a tool, a sending tool, just like instantly or small lead, but it's privately hosted, meaning you're sending emails from a private IP that's not shared with anyone. So again, I'll cover more in the video on, uh, the kind of the benefits of using it and things like that. But again, let's go back to pricing. So as far as pricing, um, if you want to use this, uh, apart from working with us, obviously and using our private sequencer, you would have to pay developers to create it, which obviously could run you tens of thousands of dollars. Um, if not even more, uh, depending on the scale of, of what you want to use it. Right? So the overall conclusion is that smart leads payment structure is perfect for both beginners and for people like, you know, higher scale lead generation agencies or B2B companies using, you know, cold email or trying to get into cold email rather. Um, you get the most bang for your buck after the $94 plan on smart lead as you get more leads and, um, for less, you know, money per month. And, you know, um, as far as instantly it's more expensive and you also get less leads, right? So it's definitely more beneficial to use smartly. Now, if you're also running high scale email or planning on doing it, whether it's your lead generation company or your B2B business, uh, that's just obviously looking to do it. Um, you can choose many different options with, with, um, with Smartly, right? With Smartly, you get access to um, a million emails a month, 500,000 emails a month, uh, or, or uh, uploaded contacts, and pretty much as much as you want, as long as you pay more. Um, I think right now in our agency with Smartly, on our Smartly plan, while well, we're paying around like $500 a month for like, 
uh, I think 120,000 or 150,000 leads. So again, with Smartlead, it's very scalable. You can add in, you can pay as much as you want and get as many leads as you want. With Instantly, they have a cap there, which is obviously not going to be uh, beneficial at scale, right? And again, as mentioned for the private sequencer, um, the pricing d does range. It's not like a, a thing you can just go in and buy. Um, it's not like a, a $90 a month or $100 a month type of thing. It's you either work with an agency like us that has our own private sequencer or you build it yourself. Right. So that's kind of how it is for pricing. So overall, I, I would choose Smartly for this one. Now, as far as UI slash UX design, right, obviously uh, user interface and user experience. All these tools um, have a very good user experience. Uh, to be honest with you, um, with specifically Smartly, we've been using Smartly for a long time before we transition to our private sequencer. And you can see, like, if you ever used it before too, like, it's very simple to use it. Uh, there's not that much that goes into using Smartly. It's you upload your email accounts. You know, very simple. You went through a download. You just do that. Um, you put them on warm up. You run a campaign. You import the leads. Import the copy. Press start. It's very very simple. Uh, they kind of have a step by step process uh, with it, and it's really obviously simple to use. Uh, on the side, you know, kind of on the left hand side, you have everything here that you need for a sequencer. In my opinion, um, obviously there's some stuff that's missing, but um, you have everything that you need there. Um, and overall, right, I'm sure most of you guys that are that are sending cold emails are using this uh, platform. Um, and again, it's just really easy to use overall. Um, and as I said, obviously just over, over easy to use. And, um, when you click on a campaign or whether it's a, at a campaign level or an email account level, it's super easy to look at analytics. So again, that's a big thing. Um, like, you know, sent, open, clicked, replied, things like that. Now let's get into instantly, right? So, um, instantly's UX, um, is a bit too simple for me. Um, if you've ever used instantly or have seen like pictures of it or, or videos of people using it, it's a little bit too simple, right? There's icons here. I don't really know what these do. Um, the overall like, uh, analytics, they're very like, um, I guess the best word is simple, right? There's no like strict, like, okay, your accounts are at this like kind of reputation or uh, anything like that. It's not like a very good platform to use in my opinion. If you're very like analytics based with, uh, and, and with obviously with cold email, um, you know, a lot of people, you, you kind of need to be analytics based and saying like how many emails you're sending to book a call and things like that. Uh, but I think if you're going to do that and you know, you have, um, kind of like a tight budget or you aren't looking to build your own private sequencer, I think smartly just going to be, you know, your best option. Um, obviously apart from it being a better price tool, you also get obviously a better user experience. Um, it's just easier if you, if you use both, it's just easier to use, um, analytics are over, overall better. Um, it's easier to upload your email accounts. Um, it's easier to, uh, run a campaign. Um, and again, um, you know, it takes, it takes like a week or two to get really, really used to small lead. If not a, a week, you know, whatever it is. Um, I've tried it instantly. It took me a pretty good amount of time to kind of work around all the different features and stuff like that. So again, I would definitely, uh, do use small lead in, in this case, um, between those two. Um, but our private sequencer, um, again, is also very super, uh, super simple to use, uh, comes with a full dashboard interface, uh, stored contact field, um, and a section for dedicated inbox tests. Um, again, you know, at our agency, our clients get access to this for completely free. Um, obviously we've invested tons of money into getting this done, but again, the reason why we do it, uh, and, and have this, um, built is because, Again, we, it leads to overall better display of all of the information as far as analytics and campaigns goes. Super simple to run a campaign. And you can see right here, um, we have integrated inbox placement tests in our campaign. So unlike Smartlead or like Instantly, uh, you can't just go and click like run inbox placement tests within the campaign. Uh, it's not like very easy to use. So what we do is we um, have that integrated directly. Apart from each campaign, you can see the contacts, sequence, uh, sequences, the schedule, settings, stats, replies, email accounts, and literally every single thing you'd need for a campaign. There's not anything else you would physically want from a campaign. So, or at a campaign level rather. Um, and again, apart from UI and UX, um, obviously there's, there's a lot more that goes into why we use this tool. And, um, obviously I'll cover that in a bit conclusion. Our private sequencer takes the cake on this one because it has everything a cold email sending tool needs, uh, directly integrated email inbox placement test, uh, inbox placement tests, uh, up to date stats and instant reply function, right? So a big thing, if you don't know, uh, with both instantly and smart lead is that, and, and again, this kind of goes into more functionality, but, um, for instantly and smart lead, um, on their uni box, when they have a reply that comes in from either Google or Outlook or wherever you're sending your emails, 
Um, it takes about like 20 to 30 minutes to populate in the uni box because they have like some sort of like polling or parsing system where it collects a bunch of them, sends them to the inbox and it sends it 20 to 30 minutes after, which, you know, if you're running cold email at scale, you want to respond to people within five minutes or less. So what our tool does is as soon as a, um, as soon as a, a, a reply comes in through Google sends instantly within seconds and right to our um, obviously a uni box. And again, uh, that's just another advantage that our tool has rather than uh, all these other ones. Right? So the next thing is cold email deliverability, right? So this is a big thing. Um, this is probably one of the, this is probably the most important section of this entire, um, you know, video. So I really want you guys to listen to this one because again, uh, having good deliverability will make or break your campaigns. If you're not landing in the inbox, then there's no point to run your campaigns. So obviously pay attention to this one, right? So with, uh, although smart lead and instantly are great platforms, they lack a lot of the core deliverability fundamentals. Number one is private hosting. And number two is easy to use inbox placement tests. So to get into what private hosting is with cold email, um, if you're running tons of cold emails, you're most likely running into some sort of deliverability issues, right? And these problems are not resulting from your email accounts. They're not only resulting from email accounts. Obviously there's some things going on with email accounts. If you have, obviously, you know, you don't have your DNS record set up or your copy has too many, too many, too many spam words or things like that. But a big factor that a lot of people aren't putting into play is sending tool. So believe it or not, we've tested out hundreds or, or we've tested a bunch of different ways um, of testing uh, email accounts or email sending between back and forth between our, our sending accounts and receiving ESPs. Uh, we've tested out so many different things. And the number one factor that kills our accounts and lets us land in spam is our IP, AKA where we're sending out when we're sending or where we are sending the email uh, emails from. So Alec and Google, both are currently investing tons of money in checking which IP uh, you're sending from. Uh, if you're sending from an IP with poor reputation, your emails will bounce, leading to terrible deliverability. Um, so sending from a privately hosted sequencer makes it so Alec and Google stop flagging your uh, your sending. And this is super important to know. And I'll, obviously, I'll get into it a little bit right now. But um, Outlook is investing tons of money right now in making sure that you're not sending uh, malicious or bad cold emails to uh, harm their users, right? Obviously it makes perfect sense. If you were a company that size, you'd probably want to invest a lot of money in doing, you know, the same. And what, what we're noticing is when we're sending emails from either smartly or instantly, we're, we're getting a lot of bounces and bounces, meaning they're not landing in the receiving inboxes. When you're not receive when you're not landing in the receiving inboxes, what Outlook, what Outlook is displaying when you're not receiving or when, when they're not being received is, um, your IP is restricted, or we do not accept your IP and things like that. Um, and what that's leading to is obviously terrible del deliverability because Outlook, all it takes is one or two times for that to happen in your account. And if it happens to all your accounts, you're going to continuously kill your reputation. So what we did was we built out the sequencer or the sending platform to solve that, you know, problem. Uh, right here, you see, uh, I tested, these are two pictures, 10 minutes apart, 3% average score, meaning uh, seven out of 10 accounts were landing in spam. So we had hundred accounts, uh, 75 accounts were landing in spam and 15 were landing in inbox, right? That's obviously terrible results. And this was after like two weeks of sending emails. So not that much, 10 minutes after the, the exact same text, uh, text, literally, um, exact same test. And there you go. Hundreds across the board went from 3% to hundred percent within 10 minutes by simply changing the sending platform. And again, I can't stress this enough how important this is. Um, the IP you're sending from really matters. This isn't something that like, oh yeah, maybe I'll, I'll do in the future. I won't prioritize this. Now you have to either invest into making a, or you're working with a company like us to, or us or, you know, whoever has a sequencer. Um, or invest into building out a sequence for yourself because again, right? The key to booking in tons of, of sales calls and clo closing tons of deals is proper deliverability. And, um, obviously you're just shooting yourself in the foot if you aren't, you know, uh, taking this into account when, when sending cold email. Now, the second thing is easy to use inbox placement tests. If you've been in the cold email space recently, you'll know that smartly just came out with smart delivery. Uh, which is essentially like an inbox placement test, like checker, which essentially inbox placement test. If you don't know, uh, it's when you test your inboxes, um, and test your cold email accounts to make sure that they actually are landing in the inbox. Right. Uh, but if you've tested like the smart delivery, uh, UI, and if you've actually used it, it's honestly not good. Um, I've tested it out a couple times. It just, it, it provides too much information that I don't really need. Um, uh, it's not like systemized. It's not in the campaign. You have to launch a separate cam, uh, kind of sequence for it. So it's not very optimal if you're, 
uh, trying to you know run inbox placement tests. You want it quick and right to the point. Uh, and that's exactly what our sequencer does. Uh, in our campaign, uh, in our campaign section, you just click on inbox placement tests. Then you click on new inbox placement tests, um, and then that's literally it. You press that, and then this is what it displays. It displays all the inbox placement tests. And if you click on view results, it'll show you all the past um, results from the campaign or uh, from the from the cold email accounts. Meaning that you can see if you're either your cold email accounts are deteriorating or get, getting better, right? So again, overall, these are the most important things as far as deliverability goes. Um, obviously, as I said, if you're not landing the inbox, then you know there's there's no really point of, of launching your cold email campaigns. Now, the last one is support. So the support chats between uh, both Smartly and Instantly are very similar. They're pretty much the same. They both offer live chats and dedicated support reps. Um, but a big benefit of Smartly is that they have a giant Slack channel with tons of people, pretty much all the users of Smartly. Um, and even the founders in there. So if you want to talk to the founder, his name is V really nice guy. Um, obviously if you want to talk with him, I've actually talked with him specifically once, um, about changing something in the, uh, in small lead. And he did change it, uh, as well as he talked to his team because it made sense to change it. So again, it's really cool to have that like one-on-one -on -one bond with, uh, with, with the founder. Um, and it kind of makes you feel heard when you're using their tool. So that's obviously a, a big benefit. So, uh, and again, obviously for, for support, there's no support for our sequencer because obviously we own it and it's only us using it, uh, us and our clients, right? So that's pretty much it. That's pro pretty much the end of the video. I really wanted to cover the big differences between Smart Lead instantly and our private sequencer. Um, as you noticed with cold email, things are changing on a daily basis and you really want to keep um, an eye out on what's changing and how to um, you know, change your current process to consistently land on the inbox and, you know, have a sequencer and a sending tool that will, um, have a good user experience. So, um, again, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day guys. Bye.